Here's a quick video on how to install the uh, Roma Dome mount using my bearing system. Start out with uh, four, number two, three eighths inch screws, these little babies here, and just mount your uh, sensor board to the bottom bearing. I'm just going to start each one and then uh, fast forward to tightening them down. The important thing to remember is don't over torque your board. You just don't want it to wiggle. There's not going to be any real stresses on it. So you don't have to be uh, smashing this thing down to the point of warping or breaking the board. As long as it's in a constant position in the center of this bearing, that'll do the trick. So here I'm just taking out the slack so the board isn't, uh, there's no distance between the top of the screw and the board, but there's also no real torque holding that board down, just uh, keeping it flat. So you can see as I press this, the board doesn't bow or flex as I push down on it. This one may have a little bit. <clears throat> so I'll give that just a little, little quarter turn. Again, snug. There we go. So that completes that part. The next, you need some six millimeter bearings. Um, if you can find some bearings that look like these BBs, these are not BBs, they're actually bearings, six millimeter, and they're sold in uh, stores that uh, do hunting and stuff. But So now I've got the uh, board sensor mounted onto the base of the bearing. What I've done is I've staged about two thirds of the uh, bearings. These are six millimeter. They look sort of like BBs, but we're going to call them bearings, since that's what they are. Um, so this has a little racetrack on the middle, or inside of this, that we're going to scoop these up and uh, put in place. But first step is to put the bearing sticker on so the magic works. I don't have a great uh, technique or anything for this, other than uh, trying to mar your uh, your decal up too much because you want it to ride true and even. There's two versions of this sticker. One of them is uh, got a different inner diameter and the other has a inner diameter that will fit this exact um, uh, bearing case. Uh, either will work. One will just have to require you to cut it. The, the goal here is just to get it as best you can into the center and not have any kinks or warps in your uh, application. All right, that looks like it's pretty good. So now that we have the decal properly installed, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is just uh, push all of the bearings to one side. There's a little staging tray here. What I wanna do is get this little inner curve service below it and kind of catch these bearings. And we're gonna kind of push them all up to the uh, the top 
of the other curved surface or in the middle of the other curved surface. And when you do, you'll, you'll see everything kind of move to the middle. And uh, you can hear them kind of all up. Oh, there we go. So now they've all popped up to the inner race or whatever that thing is called. And I'm just going to squeeze in these last remaining eight bearings. You can hear it pop. And once I have one opposing those, it naturally wants to support itself. So I'll continue this endeavor, being careful not to uh, push too hard and get these things out of uh, alignment. Just a little tricky. But this little spot here, it'll snap in. I just move so I have room for the uh, the plastics to flex a little bit. And then the last stage is just going to be to coax this cage into position to keep these bearings from misbehaving. And you can see I've got two mounting screws screw holes in uh, this version of the uh, bearing and that's going to go into our duo to give him his Roma dome and there we go all the bearings are in all 24 of them now just take something kind of pokey and uh, see if you can arrange the bearings to be me more or less evenly spaced doesn't have to be super perfect because the cage will help. This also does help to have a flat, roughly level workbench. So these things aren't rolling around too much. Kind of coax these into position. My pointy thing isn't quite pointy enough. So I'm just catching each one in a uh, subsequent uh, track in the cage and kind of pushing it down as I go. Eventually it'll get to the point where the only ones that are free are ones that are not in, in spots and when they move around they'll kind of naturally want to be in a place that's not occupied by another bearing and the whole thing will kind of snap into position close well, one of them is a little bit off here still And there we go. A little bit fiddly, but uh, you get the idea. You're building a bearing. And now this will ride true and evenly, no matter what happens with the dome. It doesn't even have to be perfectly aligned. So what we're going to have is this riding on the part that goes in the middle that holds the uh, mag tag and the slip ring. And it'll have a tooth 
it drops down and rides this slot. So even if you're not in the middle, it will keep this uh, accurately positioning of where your dome is, even if you're driving it in some kind of eccentric uh, drive system. All right, there you go. That's how to put a Roma dome mount together. The last step in the equation for this is to make sure you have the right software. So if you go to uh, the GitHub, you'll find there's Roma Dome OLED, Roma Dome Compact, Roma Dome Sensor. Uh, you want to make sure you have the most recent firmware. It's a pretty simple process. You connect to device, and you pick your uh, device out of the stack here. In this case, it's this COM8. Hit connect, install Roma Dome. Well, I've got the sensor installed, but actually what I've got in this video here is the Roma Dome OLED. Select that device, make sure you connect it to it, connect, and then install Roma Dome OLED. And when I click on that, just click next, and it's gonna confirm installation. And then this will take about two minutes, it says, and just let it go through there and do its little thing. If you have problems with this step, make sure you're not using a laptop from the 1980s. You'll need a, a Chrome or Microsoft Edge to do this installation on the web. There's other ways of putting it on there, but this is by far the easiest. And just click out of that. So that's how you do both the installer for the sensor and for the screen. And the last thing I did that I could have done better is solder the headers on before installing the board. So I'm gonna have to take this whole thing apart and, uh, and, it's, and solder these headers on. So you can see, uh, I have to get the exact right. There we go. There we go. So once soldered, you can see it's uh, nice and reliable very easy to spin and uh, we'll get those headers soldered on and put this into our duo so to get this thing apart just take your little pointy thing in here and just kind of grab underneath one of these uh, cage places and you can then kind of pull the cage right out and then what you want to do is get the bearings kind of on one side of the uh, of the track just kind of start wiggling it until, and this could come across or come apart explosively. So be careful. Um, I might actually, actually, I might have to pull out a few bearings by popping them out because there's just too much um, lack of play. It's too tight. So I'm gonna. Isolated bearing and then try to pop it out this little channel here. I may find that later. <laughs> That's where they come in stacks of 5,000, I suppose. Ah, that one's less explosive. Eventually, you get to the point where this thing just kind of falls apart. It's almost there right now. One more should do the trick. All right. So now this thing will just basically fall apart if you get all the bearings on one side. And give it a little... There we go. All right, so important safety tip... Solder your headers on first, otherwise you'll have to do this whole process twice.